Hi, my name is Vinay and today I am going to talk a little bit about Power Pivot for Excel. These are my findings uh, from the research I did using several internet resources. So it's all about Power Pivot for Excel and Oracle JD AdWords Enterprise 1. How these two can be put together. Basically the intent of this exercise is to share the findings and the intended audience is finance Oracle JD AdWords power users and those who also keep a lot of interest in Microsoft Excel and its advanced features. So in summary we'll see what is power pivot for Excel. We'll also in short see what is JD AdWords Enterprise 1 for those who are not aware of JDE. Also we can see how these two can be connected. See a sample result, the nut bolts of the sample result and then draw a conclusion. So what is Power Pivot for Excel? It's an add-in to Excel which is available for free. It can be used to perform powerful data analysis. It integrates capabilities of SQL Server with Excel. The key features are you can import millions of rows of data perform fast calculations and very good analysis virtually unlimited support of data sources and we'll see that in a minute can be shared and secured there's something called as uh, data analysis expression formula language that is used in power pivot but this is basically an ex is an extension of uh, capabilities of Excel to perform complex groupings, calculations and analysis. And that's why it's very easy to learn and adopt. If you are good at Excel uh, and can call yourself uh, a pivot table expert learning power pivot will have a very smooth curve I would say so let's see quickly what is uh, JD AdWords Enterprise 1 it's an integrated application suite of comprehensive enterprise resource planning software it provides integrated solutions to manage finance projects asset lifecycle orders manufacturing, mobile computing and reporting. Very highly scalable. I have my, in my experience seen smallest installations of 100 plus users to 3000 plus users. It's adaptable on most uh, technology platforms. You name it, uh, any big name in technology. I mean in IT technology. And you can adopt JD Edwards on most of them. So let's quickly see the sample result of the power pivot with uh, JDE. So uh, for the power pivot, what I do is I start the, the Excel. And in my case, it's Excel 2010. It's a 32-bit version. I'm still on the Windows Vista and 32-bit. So for me, for some reason, the add-in doesn't show up immediately. So I just go to the developer. It's a com add-in. I activate it.
and it'll take a little bit of time to get activated and it should show up in a bit, bit. So once you have that in activated along with the other the other toolbar items you will see power pivot as well so I have a sample here I'll show you and the sample is basically using the JD demo junior 9.0 data and here is the result so we have a trial balance for the month of May for the year 2004 and 2005 if you are familiar with uh, the slicers we have a few slicers here one is for the company the other is for the ledger type and the third is for if the account is an income statement account or a balance sheet account so let's not get into the details more but just want to show you the result and all of this has come from uh, the data demo junior data and I can manipulate this using the filter so currently the system is showing me data for company 60 year 2004 and 2005 the opening balance the year to date and the GL balance for each of uh, the accounts I'm getting the accounts with the uh, description here and currently it's showing me the AA ledger and currently it is using both balance sheet and income statement accounts all of this is manipulated using the formulas and I'll show you the formulas in a bit so this is for the month of May I can change and use company 50 and the system will refresh uh, the data based on what my selection is it takes a few minutes uh, and you dynamically get the result this is coming from the 902 data so as I choose the companies if I want multiple companies I can choose multiple companies and so on and so forth if I want multiple ledgers I can use multiple ledgers uh, but adding A to PA will not make any sense I'm just going to use AA and similar to uh, the slicers I can of course use this uh, filter here for uh, the month and I can use any month I want <coughs> similar to this uh, another example is of budget versus actuals and an overrun percentage overrun and an indica indicator the key performance indicator using the excel front end the excel capabilities of being able to represent or analyze represent the analyzed data so here again the slicers are in place so whichever company you want to choose you can choose year you can choose year you have you can choose AABA or AAJA those who are familiar with the job cost or AAPA and J whatever you want it's, it's, it's it depends on you it's, it's dynamic so I'm not going to use it because there's not much of data behind uh, to be able to show you some sensible numbers but here you can see company 60 the month of May what is budget budget versus actuals and you see how much was the overrun percentage 
what was the overrun value and what is the overrun status this is a kpi defined uh, and we'll see how it is done so now to see what is behind the scene what is power pivot all that you would need to do is click on power pivot now a new toolbar takes over and i click on power pivot and here you see the the data how it is coming so all of this is coming from jde the the demo junior 9.0 data so you have got your company's table how did i get the descriptions i just added a column with a formula joining the name and the company number and so on and so forth so here is your f triple zero six the business units the nine oh one nine oh two and in nine oh two i have so many measures defined may not be a very efficient way of doing uh, uh, things but this is how i came up with uh, the opening balance by each month and year to date numbers and so on and so forth and then a kpi of course and then some additional things like the time intelligence you can use so many things uh, i mean you can dive into or do some research on internet and you can get a lot of inputs as to how you can uh, use capabilities of uh, power pivot now how is it uh, it is connected if i say refresh it will show me that it's basically using the the services uh, the database services even local which is the jd demo data and the username is jd data 900 and the password is same with the data 900 if i say okay if there is a change in the data it will refresh it it's basically getting it into the sql server uh, so this is the nut bolt of the whole thing uh, there are some complex uh, data expression analysis formulae in this at the work but it's it's not a big deal i mean you can if you have the the time and the interest you can definitely learn and build some very good analytical reports and dashboards and charts and things like that so this is what it is and you can i mean using the front end uh, which is excel uh, which you, uh, most of uh, you would have been using for quite some time learning this will not be uh, very difficult i mean it, you you would be able to uh, you know do a lot of things on your own so similar to this you can also you know create charts and it's it can be secured in the sense uh, what i have read is if you use this with um the uh sharepoint you can secure it and you know publish your dashboards give interactive they can you, you, the same filters can be made available there and so on and so forth uh, lots of thing can be done um i have myself not seen a production site using this uh the intent of showing this is to share that this is a uh thing available an option maybe a small site doesn't want to spend a lot of money uh can can look at this as an option all right so let's go back to the powerpoint and we saw the sample result the sample result nut bolts and in conclusion it's a good bi option in view of base and collaborative functionalities it offers 
the flexibility that it offers the cost effort and time that it would need to manage the change change from a traditional bi solution to power pivot for excel so thank you so much for your time and i hope you found this interesting thanks a lot